Lesson 8, Internet Security. The internet is a powerful tool, but it comes with risks. As more and more activities are done online, it's important to understand how to protect your data and devices while you're connected to the web. In this lesson, we'll revisit the basics of internet security so that you can stay safe online. Understanding phishing scams. One of the most common ways hackers try to gain access to your data is through phishing scams. A phishing scam is an email or message that looks legitimate, but is actually from a hacker trying to get your personal information. Common signs of phishing include suspicious links, misspellings in the body of the message, or requests for sensitive information like credit card numbers or passwords. If you ever receive a suspicious email or message, don't click any links or reply, just delete it. Creating secure passwords. Another important part of internet security is creating secure passwords. A strong password should be at least eight characters long and contain a combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. It should also be unique. You shouldn't use the same password for multiple accounts. You can use a password manager program like LastPass or 1Password to help you generate strong passwords and keep track of them all in one place. Protecting your devices. Finally, make sure to protect your devices when using public Wi-Fi networks, like those found in coffee shops and airports. Public networks are not as secure as private ones, so avoid accessing sensitive information on these networks if possible. And as we've already covered, also consider installing antivirus software on all your devices, which will help detect malicious attempts at accessing your data before they become a problem. Takeaway. Internet security is an important topic for anyone who uses the internet regularly, and that includes just about everyone these days. Understanding how to recognize phishing scams and create secure passwords can go a long way towards protecting your data online. And remember, always be mindful when using public Wi-Fi networks. They may not be as secure as private ones. With these tips in mind, you can feel confident about staying safe online. In the next lesson, we'll be taking a look at some more advanced internet skills.